Hi! Um, Abby from Make Life Your Runway came up with this great idea to do a project pan that centered on her birthday as being the end date. And so I told her I thought that was a great idea and that I was going to see if I could join her. And she, of course, encouraged me. She's really sweet. I'll link her channel down below. If you're not following her already, you should probably follow her. She's a real sweetheart. But anyway, <laughs> um, I decided to go ahead and do this. And I have a mixture of cruelty-free and not cruelty-free items that I would like to finish by my birthday. I'm calling this drop 9 by December 9th. December 9th will be my um, cutoff date. I'll probably do an update on the 10th because the 9th is my actual birthday, December 9th. This is a two-fold project. I'm calling it Lose 9 by December 9th because I also want to lose 9 pounds or more. So I'm going to start first with the makeup stuff and then I'll move on to the what some of you may find a little bit more boring, which is the um, weight loss stuff. And basically gonna give you a short uh, talk about how I'm gonna handle that. So anyway, this is the makeup stuff and I am gonna be using my Hello Life Happy Planner. Um, if you've never used a Happy Planner, it's like Erin Condren, but better. The pages are nice, you can, pull them out very easily. It doesn't cost $60. This costs, I think I got it on sale for like 20 bucks. You know, you can get them at most craft stores or online. So anyway, I'm going to talk about how I plan to use my um, life planner in my weight loss efforts. And um, first I'm going to go over the makeup. I do have nine products here. A few of them are not cruelty free, which is one of the reasons I do want to use them up. The majority, I'd say more than half of them are cruelty free. <clears throat> I will tell you right off the bat what's not cruelty free that I know of, but you should always do your own research because as we've seen with the case with Stila, who is now cruelty free, you can be not cruelty free one day and cruelty free the next. I'm still waiting to see if Revlon, now that they've pulled out of China, is cruelty free or not. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know because I used to always love Revlon products. So anyway, moving on to the nine items that I want to use by December 9th. One of them I'm going to see, I'm going to be really sad to see go. I'm going to start with first my um, primer that I've had around forever and it is actually in another product it's in another project that's short term this is going to be long term the short term product um, use is the 10 um, in 10 days so this is one of the 10 that I'll be using for 10 days um, I always liked this but I think since it's my oldest primer it's going to go bad if I don't hurry up and use it so that was the primer. Now, when I use this, I don't use a primer. This is the Physician's Formula Super BB Insta Ready. Now, I do like the CC Plus formula better. This is a little bit heavier, like thicker, and um, it's like, I guess I should be measuring things. Oh, I get my Sharpie. I'll hold this up to the light and I see this is up to here. This is also in, I think, 100 Colorful Empties. I have to do an update on that one. I'm in that with one with Lena um, and so I definitely have to do an update. She's done a couple. I have done none, but I've used up a ton of the products, so I'll have a lot to show. This is in that project also. It's a year long project and I really should finish this. This is also in my use up in 2017. I, you know, these like projects, they like get me down because I'm like such a failure sometimes. But anyway, I will use that. This, I can see a crack in the product. Um, let me see if I can squeeze any air out. Nope, it's right at the top. Okay, so I just have to kind of guesstimate this. And since it's black um, and I don't have a white Sharpie, I'm just going to tell you for reference 
purposes that it's at the top of this of these letters the top letters the super bb is it there no oh, it's there it's it's over that it's at the in insta ready wording it's right to there so i like it i don't love it i wouldn't buy it again but i do want to use it up next face product is definitely not cruelty free i got it in ipsy um giveaway thing i guess it was from an ipsy bag i'm not even sure i do really like it which really hurts me it really hurts me but it's estee lauder and estee lauder is not a cruelty free brand because they sell in china a lot of these companies in the united states are cruelty free but they go off to china and then before you know it they're not anymore anyway this is double wear 2c2 is the color number pale almond and believe it or not it works for me it goes on a little bit lighter than it looks i didn't show you the other color of this let me show you this color um i do have a little lipstick stain on my hand this is like the perfect color for me that's why i wish i liked it more but you can barely see it this is the insta ready by physicians formula you rub that in and it's like invisible this is it looks a little bit dark in the container but on my face it looks really nice only thing i don't like is this gets really messy it's got a sponge and you use the sponge to um, apply the makeup and the way this sample works i don't know if this is how they all work like maybe the full size works like this too is you push this button and it brings a little bit of color up Ooh, and that was an awful lot that came out so i'll put that on the other side of my hand and you can see that's a good color for me so i do really like it i just don't like that it's estee lauder um i don't know if i'm that much of a fan of the delivery system or not i kind of like this better than the sponge pad that you see in a lot of things so i'm gonna use this up by my birthday i have a couple of these being honest with you and they're samples but they're huge samples so i do want to use that up okay uh let's see there are two other non-cruelty free items everything else after this is cruelty free that i do want to use up and i am going to miss sorely the first one is did i mark that i can't mark that okay um is this lipstick now this lipstick is in my i don't know if it's colorful empties or what it is but i already have quite a bit of progress there i guess i should mark it because i have to do that empties video anyway so that was just a hair below there we go so anyway this is a rimmel lipstick and it's the moisture rich lipstick it's in color 260 which is kind of a pinky color but it doesn't look super pink on uh, of course i have foundation on my hand but um, this is the color i really like it i own two of these because before i went cruelty free i fell in love with this lipstick and i went and bought another one so that i would never ever be without it that's one of the faults i have like unless i know something's going to be limited edition i will not do that anymore of course i've been on a no buy for a while now so anyway i do want to use this up by december 9th and then i'll start using the other one which is also about half done and finish that but this one is going to be part of this project now i have this um is it l'oreal i think it's l'oreal liquid lipstick it's one of the best um liquid lipsticks that i've ever used Uh, da, 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 da. where's your name where's your name where's your name da, la, la, la. yep l'oreal 202 color number 202 this is one of the best lipstick li bleh, lipstick liquid li <laughs> this is one of the best liquid lipsticks i have ever used i wonder if i should cut all that out or not 
I love this stuff. Now it looks really bright on my hand, but it's not that bright on my lips. It's just beautiful is what it is. Now there's no way for me to measure this. This a lot of people think is a product window. It's not because I used one of these completely until it was gone and the window never showed anything. So I think I'll know this is empty when it just starts to come out dry. So this is pretty full. I've had it for a while and when I went cruelty free, I was like coveting it, like I'll save it so it doesn't run out. I really love it, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. So this has got to go. Next thing is something that I really hate to pan, but I l I'm going to wipe the lipstick off my hands. <laughs> but I love it so much that saving it because it's beautiful is not a good idea. So this is an eyeshadow from Ulta that they don't make anymore. Um, what color are you? You're a weird color. Blue moon or something. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, Luna. Okay, so I like it because it's a duochrome, and I like it also because it's cruelty free. And it's look at that. It's it's just freaking gorgeous. And it's highly pigmented, and it has like this duochrome kind of shift to it especially when you have it on the eye because you, in one sense it looks blue and then it looks green and I just I love everything duochrome <laughs> I'm a fool for duochrome so I do want to use this up because I'm not using it because I'm hesitant for it to be on forever which it will be unless Ulta brings the color back which they did with a lipstick once but otherwise they almost never bring colors back I love this. I absolutely love it. Um, I won't buy it on the internet because I know this is about five years old. So anybody out there who's got this, it's at least five years old. So I'm not going to buy it on the internet. I know I've seen it available on eBay, but I don't want to take any chances on getting an eye infection. So I know this is fine and I really love it. I just have to use it up something I hit pan on and I adore. Next thing is kind of a little weird thing and I know it's going to take forever to use up. You know, I'll be lucky if I finish this December and even though it's like a sample, um, this is from Coastal Sense. It's the Style Eyes Duo. Now these I believe are full-size pans in this um, duo. This I think came in a boxy charm. Why are you not focusing? But anyway, um, these colors are absolutely stunning. And I think that these are full size pans in here. I really like these colors. You can see a little bit of a dip in the green because I love the green so much. Um, but they're gonna take forever. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish these by December 9th. There are two more items. One I'm going to really see, have a really hard time saying goodbye to because I don't think they make them anymore. Um, but first, the eyebrow pencil from Chella. I had a whole bunch of these at one point, and this is my last one, I think, unless I run into another one somewhere. Um, they, For a little while, they were in every box that you got, every subscription box. So I had a ton of them and now this is my last one. You cannot tell in the packaging how much is left and I'm afraid if I roll it all the way up, I'll break it. I like it too much to have it go to waste. And finally, the last thing, and I don't think they make this anymore. I have it on tonight. This is um, Urban Decay 24 seven liquid liner. I know they still make liquid liner. I just don't know what kind of formulation they're using now. This was on sale for, I think I got it for $7 at Ulta. I think it was a discontinued color. It's gunmetal um, and it's like this beautiful um, grayish black. I put a real thick line on here so you can really see the color. It's got a shimmer to it and it's it's really beautiful. 
I don't know if you can really see that. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it and I absolutely love this. So if you see that Urban Decay has this color again, tell me because I love it so much that I would break my no buy and buy another one. All right, so believe it or not, that was nine products. Let's see if I can line them up. It's not always easy to keep everything straight. So I've designated a drawer over here on the right for this stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the makeup that I want to use up. So this is nine items and I want to lose nine by December 9th. So now we'll get into the weight loss. Now, I want to lose nine pounds by December 9th. I think I can lose more than that if I just stick to exercising. I don't eat a lot. Um, I don't always eat right, like eating an entire bagel with cream cheese every morning is probably not a good thing, and a big glass of orange juice, but I think those are the things that help me survive the day. <laughs> a lot of times I don't eat lunch when I have that, but that's also not very healthy, is it? Anyway, I have been thinking about using my Happy Planner to track my fitness a little bit more. Now, a lot of people buy a separate planner, but to be honest, I cannot be bothered with having a whole bunch of planners. So let me open up to September. Okay. I have a dentist appointment. You can always already see it there. So I'm going to use this calendar part for my appointments as usual. But my calendar pages, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start let me get to a blank page where I don't have my weight showing. I'm going to start um, separating these a little bit better. I'm going to do a separate video of plan with me um, with a weight loss focus. I'm still going to use the top area for like phone calls I have to make, appointments I might have, things that I have to remember that day. Um, the middle is going to be goals, but it's also going to be writing goals. So I will be putting little things in there about writing, how many words I want to write in a week. Um, and the bottom is going to be my exercise. A lot of people food journal. I have done that. I find that food journaling basically makes me think about nothing except food. And so I'm going to try to just to eat smart. I'm also reading the Mayo Diet book, which I will share with you guys when I make the video about putting fitness into this planner. I know a lot of people buy like the separate planner pages. I thought that was kind of expensive and it didn't have exactly what I wanted. Because um, I've watched a few flip throughs. I've almost got a Fitopoly book. Um, is it Fitopoly? Fitopoly? Anyway, um, it's a little fit book and it's got like um, columns for your weight and all that. I can do that in here. I did quit FabFitFun and that was one of the things that was in my basket. I have a friend here who's in FabFitFun so I know you'll be disappointed. But anyway, um, I did quit that and I'm going back to BoxyCharm and I was going to do Birchbox, but I decided to do Sephora Play because the last couple Sephora Plays were really good. So I'm going to be going to those two boxes and um, so I didn't get to get that book. I thought about it, I had it in my cart and then my daughter and I were on the phone and we said to each other, do we need this stuff? No. Should we just quit this? And we're like, yes, because it's $49.99 it was going to come out. Plus, the things that we had put in our cart would have also been added. It would have been almost $100 um, coming out of the account this month, and that's just too much. So, uh, you know, I am not made of money. <laughs> I know it's only quarterly, and I know some of you love it, and I really did love it, but it's just too much money for me. So anyway, I am going to use my Happy Planner. I'm sure that when I first start, it's going to be like a work in progress and it'll get better. I might split the entire page in half instead of just using a third of it. When I can get the 
time on my Fitbit to be the real time in the world. Like right now it thinks it's July 24th at like 9 o'clock at night. I can't even wear it because it's like doesn't even know what day it is. I tried running the battery out. That didn't work. It still thinks it's July 24th. So um, I'm going to be looking for more help articles because the help articles I found didn't help me. Um, but that's beside the point. I do have a sticker that goes in here for Fitbit and I liked that idea because I could track did I get up away from my desk at all today and that's the main reason that I use those steps because honestly they don't count as real exercise. They, they just don't. Um, real exercise counts as real exercise so I'm going to be doing some fitness videos that I have. In January I might consider joining a gym. I'm not sure whatever my insurance will pay for because like I said I'm broke so anyway <clears throat> so I've rambled on and on much too long these products are all backwards so let me turn them so they're not all back I don't know how they end up all backwards but anyway they they were all backwards so this project is a twofold project um, some people did lose 10 by summer or or something like that. I want to lose nine makeup items by my birthday. December 9th will be the end day. So even though I have another project where I use um, other makeup over a 10-day period, like every 10 days, and I'll continue that, I'm still going to use these items as well. Um, that's short term, this is long term, so I want to see these completely gone by December 9th. I realize I probably won't be able to finish everything and I'm going to use my happy planner as not just a calendar but also as my life planner and my fitness planner. So I will let you know how I do. I'm going to create more planner pages. I have one available on my website and um, I'll see if I can insert a link for that and you know definitely cheer me on a little bit. I definitely need it. So anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary and have a beautiful evening. Good night.